What if liberating religious communities weren't in decline? What if the word congregation wasn't an outdated notion, but the free movement of people for justice led by a liberating love? What if this liberating faith was on the rise in communities across our country today? And what if you could be a part of that change just before liftoff? In May 1961, President Kennedy declared that by the end of the decade, the United States would put a person on the moon. It was an audacious goal, made in a time of uncertainty and setbacks, criticism, and fear. When Katherine Johnson started creating the formulas and crafting the calculations to get John Glenn into space, there wasn't a road map to the moon. But the clarity and ambition sparked a decade of focus, progress, and discovery in our current time of unrest and uncertainty, we are not backing down. We are declaring our own moonshot, and it's focused on building more places for beloved community like never before. As five leaders of liberating faith, we have encountered leaders with vision and potential across our country who need support. And so we combined our years of experience and formed an organization called Launchpad. Our consistent goal is to support leaders with institutional support, guidance, and strategies to make sure their efforts succeed. Now, when it comes to the enormous potential of liberating faith in this country, we're dedicated to investing in the growth of energetic ministries. Communities that have been abandoned by the powers of the world are starving for the missional attention and ministry of creative faith leaders. Fired up people lead powerful lives when they find the sustaining support that strengthens them to go out and link arms with their neighbors to restore the vitality and promise of the places in which they live. If there was ever a time to invest in strengthening and spreading the power of our liberating faith, that time is today. Launchpad is a learning collective that partners with those who have the combination of vision, vitality, and tenacity to make this dream a reality. So our project, Moonshot, here in East Tennessee, as well with our uh, our friends and, and fellow travelers in Atlanta, here in East Tennessee, we're going to be investing in two communities in Kingston and Lenore City, both of them strategically picked as places that are crossroads, that are easy to reach for more rural counties, and yet themselves are small towns. These are historic uh, East Tennessee towns, and yet we see in them potential to do a new thing, to bring about a new community. We've scattered out these towns. We know that there's potential there. We know that there are people who are hungry for the liberating power of our progressive faith. Hi, I'm Deborah Greenwood, and I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia, in the West End of Atlanta, Georgia. Hi, I'm Reverend Duncan T. I am the founding member of Abundant Love Unitarian Universalist Congregation, and we're going to be here in the West End of Atlanta. So you might wonder, why do we need another church? We're planting abundant love in the West End because there's a need for liberal religion in the African American community. And why not bring Unitarian Universalism here? The West End is a very special place with historical homes, a vibrant community, with many African American businesses. We have six historically black colleges and universities here, and several historic churches, including the Shrine of the Black Madonna and Hunter Street Baptist Church. I'm really happy, first of all, to be here at Cafe 640 West, um, owned by Jay White, and I'm really grateful for his support of our ministry. We've been able to meet here, and like Mr. White's business here, many new uh, entrepreneurs are coming to the West End and um, bringing a new life back to what was a really older established neighborhood that had gone downhill for a while and now it's very much coming back. What I love about Abundant Love is that we will be in a thriving, active African-American neighborhood in Atlanta. And the main reason we're here is because when you look at a map, of where our congregations are in the Atlanta metropolitan area. We are not in Southwest. So we have an open mission field, is what the Methodists would call it. But we, we're really happy to be here. And I think that there are new residents 
and some old residents who are looking for liberal religion and who will be very glad to help and support us. So when we talk about bringing a Unitarian and Universalist church to this area, we're talking about a church that's going to be inclusive of all people, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, questioning, and even straight people can come. Uh, we, we're we're uh, hoping to see families, single people, older people. Uh, we hope to have uh, support groups for people with HIV and AIDS and deal with the kind of theology that asks people to really think deeply about what's important to them, what are their values, and support them on their journey. What do you hope the money raised by this moonshot with Launchpad will help you do? Right now, Abundant Love is our core committee and some supportive friends. And the Launchpad and Moonshot money will help us go from being a good idea with our small group of stalwart friends and supporters to being a small fledgling congregation that will grow into what Abundant Love needs to be. And so we welcome you to phase one of Moonshot. In one month, 31 days, help us raise 15000 to support three new liberating faith communities. That's right, your funds will make it happen. Three new sites for this liberating faith for a total of 15000 We're just beginning, though. Be a part of the launch. Donate today.